Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video, we're gonna go over five series shortcuts that I find particularly useful, and we'll go over where you can find them and how to use these shortcuts yourself. If you haven't seen our hands-on with the Shortcuts app video yet, you can find that video linked in the description down below. And that video will help you get a basic understanding of what Siri Shortcuts is all about and how to navigate through the app. So to sum it up, Shortcuts is based on the workflow application that Apple purchased back in 2017, which allows users to create multi-step shortcuts using third-party applications, which can then be activated using a Siri voice command. Right now, there are a few different ways that you can find and use different shortcuts. The most common and easiest way is to just simply open up the Shortcuts app and then tap on Gallery in the bottom right-hand corner. From here, you can go ahead and sift through various shortcuts and once you find the one that you like, you can simply select it and tap Get Shortcut. You can also find first and third party shortcuts from apps that you already have installed on your iPhone by heading into Settings, Siri and Search, and then selecting All Shortcuts. Now here you'll find a list of all the pre-made shortcut suggestions that are based on the applications that support shortcuts on your device. Once you find something you like, simply tap on that plus button to add it. This will then prompt a corresponding voice command that you will use to run the shortcut via Siri. Keep in mind, these shortcuts won't appear in your library as buttons and will need to be accessed via your custom Siri voice command. Finally, there's actually a subreddit out there for Siri shortcuts that a bunch of users have created and shared. If you find a shortcut post that interests you, chances are there's a link to that shortcut that you can add to your library instantly. There are some pretty crazy options in this subreddit, but some of them might be particularly useful. You can also, of course, create your own Siri shortcut if you would like, but for the sake of this video, we're going to strictly focus on how to find pre-made shortcuts. Starting off with one that I found in the Siri shortcut, which is called Tip Calculator, and it might seem pretty boring, but to me it's been incredibly useful. Instead of searching for the calculator app on your iPhone and then figuring out the math, simply tap the Siri shortcut, enter the bill amount and your desired tip percentage, and then the shortcut will calculate your tip and total for you. For this shortcut, I use the phrase calculate tip, and then I would proceed through the necessary steps just like I would if I had tapped on the button. If you head into settings, Siri and search, and then all shortcuts, you'll find the previously mentioned list of the other Siri voice commands that you can create. Now my two personal favorites from here are the dark sky weather forecast and the what's happening on Twitter shortcuts. I personally find dark sky to be more accurate than the built-in weather app in iOS, and whenever you ask Siri what the weather is, it will pull that data from said built-in app. With this shortcut, I can ask what's the weather today, and it will pull that info from Dark Sky rather than the built-in weather app. To me, this is much more useful. I also might be one of the few who likes and uses Twitter Moments, or See What's Happening, or whatever they call the search icon page where all of the current trending topics and news stories are located. If I wanted to access that section relatively quickly and hands-free, all I have to do is ask Siri what's happening on Twitter, and it will immediately open up the app and go right to Twitter Moments. Finally, if you sift through the subreddit for shortcuts, you'll find some pretty useful commands, and the two that I found that I currently use are the Convert Burst to GIF and Watch Music Video Shortcuts. Converting a burst photo to GIF isn't something that I would use all the time, but rather than downloading and using a third-party application for this process, it's nice to know that I can just open the Shortcuts app and tap a few buttons to get this done. I could also make this a Siri voice command, but for me, it's easier just to use the Shortcuts app. Once you run the shortcut, it will automatically bring up your burst photos and convert whichever one you select to a GIF. You can then share it or save it to your photos. There are also a lot of music related shortcuts out there on this subreddit, and one that I found particularly interesting is the watch music video shortcut. If a music video is available for the song that you're currently listening to in Apple Music, all you have to do is run the shortcut while the song is playing, and Apple Music will immediately find and open and play the music video for that corresponding song. The Siri voice command of watch music video is particularly helpful with this shortcut, since it won't require me to leave the Apple Music app and go into the Shortcuts app. Instead, I can just use the voice command and it will play the music video right within Apple Music. So let us know what you think of the Shortcuts app and your favorite Siri shortcuts in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.